What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to answer a question I get a lot, which is, is it still worth it to do a, a gun YouTube? Is it still worth it to try to become a gun tuber? Is it still worth it to put out gun content on YouTube? And I'm not gonna make you wait till the end of the video. The answer is yes. Yes, it is still worth it. So when I started my channel, I took three, four months before I posted anything. I was looking through Reddits, I was looking through forums, and everything was saying that it was not worth it, YouTube is dead, try it on another platform, all your videos are gonna get demonetized. Basically, it was gloomy and bad news altogether. If I would've listened to any of those things, I would've not started my channel. As a matter of fact, it took me a while to put out my first video because I was discouraged by what I was seeing people post on forums, videos, YouTube, Facebook, etc. I instead, I'm a marketer, you know, by trade. Uh, so I don't believe in saturation. I don't believe that anything, anything is at any point done or overdone or oversaturated. It's just an angle that you're choosing to do something in. That's just my opinion. But I decided, you know what, let me try for myself. Let me implement some of the things that I know to be true. So I started posting on YouTube. Um, and since then, uh, I think it's been eight, nine months of consistently, well, semi-consistently posting. And we're over 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for that, by the way. I, I appreciate it. I love you guys for that and uh, more to come. But yes, over 10,000 subscribers. If I had listened to any of the stuff I read, I would not be here today. Now I'm not making millions of dollars or anything like that, but I have a platform where I can share my experiences, what I've learned, I can learn from other people, and we can have uh, conversations about something that we all enjoy and love. And it's awesome, it's been great. I've loved every second of it. Now, a couple of things I wanna talk about that people obviously have questions on. Number one, how is YouTube with demonetizing and all that Honestly, I have not had many issues with YouTube. I think I have maybe two, maybe three videos that are demonetized. I have that little yellow dollar sign. One of them happens to be one of my biggest videos, which was my top five uh, handguns video. Has over 200,000 subscribers, demonetized for whatever reason. Uh, sent it f to YouTube to get reviewed manually, and they came back and they said that they still want bring it back and it'll stay demonetized which is fine and i think one or two more that i was doing some internal stuff but pretty much every other video i have is green all together no issues whatsoever i don't really have many issues with youtube now my content is not like you know demolition ranch or uh, or, uh all the other guys that do crazy type of youtube videos that they're shooting full auto and all that i don't do any of that stuff but I don't have any issues with YouTube for the most part. In contrast, I've had plenty of issues with TikTok. I've lost five, 10,000 deep profiles on TikTok. I have issues right now with Instagram where they're throttling me and not showing my stuff to anybody. It's taken me eight months to get 60 followers on Instagram. It's very, very hard to grow on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and all these other platforms unless you already have a big following somewhere else and you can send that traffic over to grow. So my stance on YouTube is it's still a blue ocean on YouTube. It's just a matter of how you present your information. So a lot of people complain about YouTube, but in my opinion, all that complaining is a waste of time. Figure out what YouTube wants you to do. Work in the gray areas and do what you have to do. So I think that you can still have a successful platform. Even the big guys that do like the full auto stuff, even uh, just even the, the, the PSRs of the world, you can have a successful YouTube channel while still tiptoeing the guidelines and being just fine. Am I saying I'm never going to have any issues with YouTube in the future? Not saying that, but I'm saying so far, YouTube has not been the reason why I've not been growing. I have been growing. So YouTube is not in my way. I think a lot of people think that YouTube is working against them. Maybe, maybe, but I just don't believe that to be true. And if, when you go down that rabbit hole of thinking like that, you're just gonna stand in your own way in a lot of things and a lot of different aspects in your life. So I don't like doing that. I don't like letting anything come in my way. If I wanna do something, I'm gonna do it until I fail. 
So that's number one. Number two would be, do you need to buy all these guns and equipment and all that? And the answer is no. And I said that in my first video where I talked about being a gun tuber and all that, which was one of my first videos. You don't need to have a bunch of guns. You don't need to buy all these guns. As a matter of fact, I've gone down that road. I like buying guns. I have a gun addiction. I have admitted it in the past. But what happens is when you think that you need to do that, even if your channel isn't meant to be a review channel, you eventually turn into a review channel because that's what you think your audience wants to see because you're buying new guns and showing new things constantly. And that's basically a review channel. You have to figure out what you want your channel to be. I kind of don't want my channel to just be a review channel. I'll review things that I've used myself and you know warn people if I need to or express my frustrations or admirations of whatever product I'm using. But I don't want my channel to be a review channel. Nothing wrong with that. There are channels out there. That's what they do. I leave that up to them. Same thing with trying to show people how to do certain technical things. It's not what my channel is here for. I'll show you what I did, what I chose to do, and I'll link a channel that is doing a way better job than I could ever showing you how to do that technical part. So in my part three of my Build a Rifle With Me series that's coming out sometime this week, I'm showing you what I chose as far as parts for my lower. In that video, I'm not really showing you how to put these things together. I'm showing you what I chose, why I chose it, why I like that product, why I like that brand, and I'll link videos to people out there who, you know, those boomers that they have those 20 minute long videos where showing you exactly how to do something. I don't think I need to put out a new video like that because there's a great video already showing you how to do those things. So I'll just link it in the description if you need a step by step. So you just have to be aware of the type of content that you're putting out and aware of who's watching and decide what type of content and what type of channel you want to be. So you do not need to buy all these guns. You do not need to constantly buy new parts. As a matter of fact, like I said before, you can be a successful gun channel with just one gun. Just like those car guys do on Instagram and YouTube where they their whole channel is built around one car, you can do the exact same thing with one gun. They're, the requirement to become a great YouTuber or be, have followers or anything like that in the gun community is not to have a bunch of guns. So keep that in mind. Three would be equipment and do you need DSLRs and all that? You don't. I shoot my videos on an iPhone. This is an iPhone 15 Pro Max and it looks great, sounds great, no issues whatsoever. Did I purchase another camera to do other styles of video like Insta360? Yes. I haven't gotten a chance to do any videos using that just yet. Still using my phone. From zero followers and subscribers all the way up to 10,000, it's always been my phone. So you do not need fancy equipment. You do not need to get brand new cameras or anything like that. I have my phone and then I have a ring light that I got on Amazon for cheap. So that's hopefully that answers that question. Now, as far as what type of content, I think that a lot of people get stuck on putting out certain content that doesn't move the doesn't move the needle forward in my opinion content that does that it's kind of like those videos that you see people posting that say youtube changed my life even with low subscribers like yeah you can put out videos that other people are doing that seem to be getting a lot of clicks but it doesn't move the needle forward it doesn't separate you from your, your peers or your other youtube channels you have to put out content that is i want to say too different but that is different but same so different but still same. So <laughs> you kind of want to do your own thing uh, and certain content that does work, for example, like that top five handguns video. Yes, multiple people have, countless channels have done that. You kind of have to do content that works, but repurpose it and do it in your own way, your own version, add your own twist to it. So don't be afraid to do that, especially in the beginning. Try as many different things out as possible. You never know what may work for you that may not work for somebody else or what may work for somebody else may not work for you. So keep that in mind. Another thing I wanna point out is shorts. I sprinkle shorts on my content kind of like as a filler between long form content. In my opinion, long form content on YouTube is king. I would never 
rely on short form to grow my channel just because the subscribers that come to your channel from short form aren't the same as the subscribers that come to your channel from long form. So people who like watching shorts may not necessarily like watching long form videos. And the videos that propel your channel, in my opinion, are the long form videos. You make more money, there's more retention, you grow a community more that way. Shorts to me is like TikTok, short attention span. It's, it's, it's hard to translate that into a community and a long term plan, essentially. So I would use shorts as a filler, as a sprinkling here and there. I wouldn't use it as my base to grow my channel. You need to have long form content. And lastly would be stuff like, uh, what is it called? Uh, thumbnails, stuff like thumbnails and music and all that. All that stuff is does, will not make or break your channel. Will a better thumbnail help you get more clicks? Yes, but you do not have to have professionally made thumbnails with stuff written on the thumbnail and all that. The reason my thumbnails look like what they look is because people who are familiar with my channel see the background of my thumbnail, they associate it with me and they click on the video because they're used to my videos. A lot of people have found me on YouTube from TikTok from my background. So by background, I mean my thumbnails. So I like my thumbnails. I keep them simple. I, I don't overcomplicate it and I suggest that you do the same. Gun YouTube is not the same as camera YouTube and vlogging YouTube or any of that. So be be mindful of that. It's not going to necessarily make or break your channel. Lastly, stuff like vlogging and having uh, just ambiguous uh, thumbnail titles. I don't suggest you do that um, because nobody knows who you are. So if I had started vlogging videos in the beginning, I would not get many views because nobody knows who I am. If I do a vlogging style video now and I go into the, one of my favorite gun stores and I do stuff like that now, it'll get views because I already, I built a community. People know my channel. They kind of know what to expect. I don't clickbait. I don't put out bullshit when it comes to content. So you need to build that, that audience. You need to build that um, community first and then start putting out stuff like vlogs and and stuff like that so I see a lot of people make that mistake don't make that mistake um, and then one of the double last this is the promise this will be the last thing would be be consistent you cannot just put one or two videos out a month I used to do that and growth was there slightly but I didn't start growing exponentially until I started doing three four videos a month People want to see more content, especially if they like your content. They don't want to wait three weeks for another video. It's just the way it is. So put out more content. And that does not mean shorts. Put out more quality content that's long form. Doesn't mean 30 minutes. To me, long form content is anything between eight and 30 minutes. Eight between eight and 30 minutes. It can be 15, 12, it can be 20. Sometimes my videos are 28 minutes long. And in the beginning, I'm like, hey guys, I'm, I'm just putting out a short video and it ends up being 28 minutes. And I still get views. People still watch it do, do just fine. So people are willing to watch long form videos. Long form videos are not dead. People are watching videos on the way to work, at work, at lunch, on break, at home, while doing the dishes, showering. You'd be surprised how often people watch long form videos on YouTube. So in my opinion, I treat long form videos like a podcast and I no filler stuff, no empty pauses. Um, as you notice, I don't edit my videos. It's one shot. Um, in the beginning, it was hard because you'd hear a lot of ums, a lot of, because you know, I wasn't good at it. But now, the more, the more you do something, the better you get. So consistency and just doing something over and over again will make you better. So again, YouTube is not dead. I believe that it's a perfect time to start a gun YouTube channel. I want more people to start more gun YouTube channels. I don't think there are enough. So start one. If you like 22LR, start a channel on just that. You'd be surprised the community you can build with, with being target specific in a niche within a niche. So if you like just shotguns, start a channel on that. If bow guys, you like bow and arrows, I guarantee you there is an audience out there for you that you can grow. And some people will think, oh, well, it'll be, it'll be a small audience. You just, you need a thousand loyal subscribers or followers or fans to be successful and do okay online. So 
and most of these niche niches that I've mentioned, you can have 50 plus subscribers and and grow it to that. So you like cleaning guns, you can do something like you like gunsmithing stuff. You like um, it, it, pretty much any sub niche within the gun community. You can grow a channel in 2024, 2025. So do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Start it. Do it now. I feel like that Everest commercial. You ain't doing nothing anyways. Do it now. Do it now. Start it. Um, if I had waited, if I had not done it, I wouldn't be where I am today. And, you know, we may be at 10,000 today, but the next video, video I make about this, we may be at 50,000 or 100,000. So, again, don't hesitate. Just start and figure out what you like and put out videos that you like. Don't do other things that don't do videos that you think other people will like. Do videos that you like and the people who like the same things you like will find you and you will grow a tribe that way. At least that's what I've learned. So hope that helps. Hope there were some tips and tricks in there for you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section or reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer your questions and help out. I want to see everybody win. So don't hesitate. Don't think that if you're watching these guys that have 100,000, 200,000 subscribers, you can never get. Yes, you can. You can do it. Just be a little bit more consistent. So thank you for watching the video. Um, as you guys can see here, I have my OZ9 clear and it's fall now baby so i can i can rock my x grip more comfortably because i'm wearing more hoodies and stuff like that so this beauty is what i've been carrying it just like this so lately when i have the x grip i'll throw on the 7a to not deal with the the second d in my pants so this pretty comfortable so some people may think this prints but eh sometimes and most people don't give a shit so yeah appreciate you guys watching the video like i said don't hesitate don't wait because you could have started six months ago and now you're watching my video thinking if you should start stop stop wasting time start right now so again thanks for watching the video guys do something great do something positive be positive help someone today happy monday and i'll see you guys on the next video doses